Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Becca. I'm a wife and mother who loves thrifting and homemaking and just being a mama. So that is what you can expect to find on my channel. I'm currently on a mission to kind of redecorate my house on a budget. So my goal is to thrift the majority of the things that I use. And I'm also obsessed with thrifting clothing. So I make a ton of clothing thrift hauls as well. So this video is a little bit of a different one for me. It is cleaning out and kind of redecorating this office. It is a work in progress and I'm nowhere close to being done yet, but I feel like I've made a lot of progress so far. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Hey there, sorry to interrupt, but I realized that I didn't really explain what all is going to be going on in this video. It's a lot, so buckle up. First, I'm going to take you guys on the very stressful journey of cleaning out that office. It had turned into like a catch-all, um, disaster zone, very embarrassed about how bad it got, but I'm just gonna be really vulnerable with you guys and let you see my chaotic life. <laughs> so we're gonna clean out that office, let you guys see the progression of that. And then I have my desk transformation that is really fun. And then I also have a little thrift haul to share with you guys. So I know it's a lot for one little video, but it all goes together like it all works. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get back into it. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. It is, it is so bad. <sighs> okay, I've just been throwing stuff in here and I, I gotta get this under control. This is not okay. So I need to get this desk cleaned out, list it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and yeah, I don't even know where to start. This is all like spring clothes clothes that I want to try to get rid of. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so making making some progress, but in cleaning out, I uncovered some of my thrifted finds. Um this one is from a cowboy book that I bought or thrifted a long time ago. Um totally forgot about that, so I need to get him hung. And then I thrifted these two a while ago. But I'm thinking I want to do something with the frames, either like sand them down to like a natural wood finish and I want to change out this, what do you call, backing. So, because they're pretty beat up and I just, they are a little outdated looking. So I want to try to update them a little bit and um, yeah, we'll see, but making progress. If you don't know, my husband and I bought like a fixer upper. Everything was very, very outdated. Um, and we started working on this office shortly after I had my son. And we just never quite finished in here with the trim. So we need to finish this. Um, need to put closet doors on and everything. It's just... It's a lot in here, so yeah, let's keep going. Okay, more progress is slowly being made. Worked on that a little, brought up some um, little organizers that I actually thrifted. I'm not sure if I ever shared this, but I found these at Goodwill and they were like a dollar each, so that's amazing. Um, yeah, so just trying not to lose my mind, trying to stay calm during all of this. I feel like I'm at the point where I'm like making piles and I move like stuff from this pile to this pile and this pile over to this pile. And I just feel like I'm shifting things from pile to pile. You guys know what I mean? And he's being so helpful, you know, just finding things and being helpful. Huh. Here's a little update on the office. Probably doesn't look like much of an update because it's still a mess. Currently, we are getting ready to move this out of here because I just listed it on Facebook Marketplace and I have a couple interested buyers. So, gonna get this guy out of here. Um, we love this couch, but it just, 
we don't need a couch in the office. I just feel like that's not necessary anymore. Um, and, oh, look at this. My mom picked this up. This not showing it very well for you guys, but my mom picked this up for me on the side of the road. Like, how cool is this picture? Very Western, like I like. So, um, gonna find a place for that. All of this is <laughs> still a mess. Need to finish that closet. Um, not sure I'm loving this block anymore, so... I don't know, might try to sell that on Facebook Marketplace. I wanna switch out these two photos. Basically, I just wanna redecorate in here and give it a little, little facelift, but um, I'm almost done with my desk. We'll move it in here. Gonna move some of this stuff around. And uh, yeah, we'll update you guys when it looks not so chaotic. Also, this desk is kind of the star of the show. A couple videos back I said that I was looking for some specific furniture pieces and a desk was one of them. I found this at Goodwill for $16, took a picture of it really quick, stood by it until I got the go-ahead for my husband, which I did, and so I brought her home. I have some clips of us flipping her. Um, not a whole lot, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that so you can watch the process and then we'll be back. All right, are you guys enjoying this video so far? <laughs> I hope you are. But this is the way the desk looked before we did any of the work to it. I thought it was a gorgeous desk, but I just wanted to update it and make it look a little more modern. So first we just sanded it down. Sanding took way more work and time than I realized. This was the first piece of furniture that I've personally ever sanded. I'm very thankful for my husband for helping me and being willing to just do all these crazy little ideas that I come up with all the time. But after we got it sanded, I started painting it, and I love the paint that I chose. I did a lot of research, and um, this one was called an alkyd paint, and it's apparently for cabinets and doors, and I am very impressed with it. It went on super smooth and dried without any kind of brush or roller marks. I will say that it dried a little more on the matte side than I wanted it to, but all in all, I'm very happy with it. I'm so happy with the way this desk turned out. It turned out exactly how I pictured it in my head, exactly what I wanted. I love this detailing right here on the top, and I definitely wanted to leave the top just like that pretty raw, unfinished wood. I think that looks so gorgeous. And I had an inspiration picture of something that I had found on Pinterest of how I wanted to do this desk. And um, the day that I got this desk, I also got two more pieces for the living room, two end tables. So I'm going to be flipping those basically exactly like this looks so i'm very excited for that okay so here's where we are now it's so much more decluttered in here thank goodness this closet still needs a ton of work obviously it still needs finished i was working on it getting um a lot of the clothes sorted out through there um that's the pile of clothes that i've listed on my mercari my husband and I decided that we're probably just going to use this as like my inventory closet um, to see, you know, what happens with that. This used to be the office chair, but it doesn't really go with the new desk. So I think I'm going to list that one on Facebook Marketplace. Lucas is joining us for a little bit. <laughs> He'll probably get bored and leave us. I also have a small little thrift haul for you guys that I found the day that I found the desks too. And the first thing that I want to show you guys is this gorgeous wicker basket. When I saw this one, I got so excited. I loved the handles on this. And then when I opened it, I saw that there was another basket in there. And I thought maybe it just got shoved in there on accident. I wasn't sure. Obviously, it's like identical to the other one. It's identical to the other one. And I noticed that there wasn't a price tag on this one at all. 
and the price tag on this basket was 604 and I think the baskets are normally like two dollars and fifty cents each so I figured it, they must have done it on purpose since this was six dollars so about three dollars a basket I thought that was a good deal and for such good quality yeah. baskets I thought that was a great price I just love that they have this little flappy lid and that there's two of them so not exactly sure where I'm going to be putting this quite yet might be going into the basement project i promise you guys when when it's something worth showing you guys i will definitely show you right now it's just it's nothing that anybody wants to see right now it's just a cluttered stressful mess of things yeah. that things that we need to store and hold on to for right now but like i said once i feel like it's something worth sharing with you guys i will totally share the basement project with you guys um, we just have a unfinished dungeon basement is what I like to call it. It's just, you know, your typical Midwestern unfinished basement, like laundry, storage pantry, storage, everything is what's down there. We have dreams for the basement. Will we ever get to the updates that we want to do in the basement? I don't know. This is definitely a fixer upper home that we bought. So we'll see if we get to the basement. <laughs> Another thing that I found that trip is actually right here, and they are these really pretty, what do you call these, geode rock <laughs> bookends, and um, I, I did pay $3 each for these. At first, I'm like, oh, $3 each, that seems like a lot, but it was exactly like the decor style that I had envisioned to go with this desk. I like how simple they are. I just think they're beautiful and I think my books look really cute. So the last two things that I have to show you guys from that thrift haul are two pairs of shoes. I fell in love with these when I saw them. I thought that they looked just very boho, western, just cute and how can you go wrong with a cute pair of booties? You can't. I got them for $4.50 so you can't go wrong with that. Um, but they're in excellent condition, maybe worn like a handful of times. Whoever had these before me, thank you very much for donating them. They are so cute. And I actually already wore these to church and my feet didn't hurt at all standing for worship or walking around. So they passed the test of comfort. They are so comfy. They're from the brand Jolie and I absolutely love these boots. And the other pair of shoes that I found are these Steve Madden boots. I just love a good distressed, like, grungy boot and that's exactly what these are they look so cute on they are you know they have a good amount of wear to them whoever had them prior to me definitely loved them and wore them a lot but they're still in great condition they're actually a size six don't know how my feet fit in them but they do they're a little snug but not so snug that you know i can't <laughs> wear them but they're size six i got these for four dollars and fifty cents as well um and and i love them i just think they're so they're so cute all right guys that's about it for this video um i know it was <laughs> kind of all over the place so i hope you enjoyed it um i know this looks like totally chaotic behind me i know it feels chaotic behind me and just unfinished and all over the place but like I said, I actually am dipping my toes into the reselling industry, if you want to call it. We'll see what happens with that. I'm just trusting God and seeing what he wants to do with it. Um, I love thrifting. I love making these thrifting videos for you guys. I find so much clothes all the time, but it's a lot of clothes. And um, I would literally start drowning in clothes if I kept up the rate I'm going. So I was trying to think like, okay, what can I do to make this sustainable? I'd asked you guys if you'd be interested in, um, like if I created a Poshmark for some of the things that I find. One of you guys actually commented and said that you like Mercari better than Poshmark. I think that's how you pronounce it, Mercari. So I do have a Mercari started. Um, I cleaned out my closet and listed a few things on there. And I'm praying that it'll just be um, a little source of income for my family and I. We definitely could use a little extra income, so I'm excited to see where God takes that. 
Um, I'm definitely gonna be sharing that journey with you guys if that's something that you are interested in. We'll see, I'm excited to see where it goes. But that's what I'm planning to do with this chaos of a closet. Right now we're planning on turning it into like the inventory closet. And um, I'm excited, I'm excited to see what God does with it. And if he shuts that door, then we'll move on to something else and see what he has for us. All right guys, that is it for this video. This one wants me to read him a book, so we gotta go do that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Becca underscore Midwest Mama. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you do that, and I appreciate it more than you know. And also consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.